What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I am still doing the um, love twist readings for all the signs, and I'm on the sun in Gemini. Hope everyone's having a good day. So for some of you, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, you your bond deepens. Calling in your soulmates, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And some of you need to let go of control issues. Never a Gemini, right? Because We had a, a blizzard this morning, so it's supposed to be spring in Minnesota, but yet there was a fucking blizzard, okay? I walked outside and I'm like, great. Why do I live here? Why do I live here? So I think you guys have somebody's heart or you guys have a man coming in. It's about manifesting the right things for your life with the magician in the mirror. Comes with some hostilities for some of you. Maybe you're being a little too hostile. I don't know. There's something you guys need to walk away from. Oh shit, I forgot to do these ones. Maybe... There's a lot of... So it's attraction and flirts. So I feel like... There's something in your past you need to walk away from. Shit. Something that made you really sad. And you are being helped. You have um, assistance from whoever your higher power is. Some of that old hurt needs to be healed, I think, and it's time to let it go so that you can be happy. Because you've already turned your back on it, but it's about not looking back anymore. Close that gate and keep going because you have better things in your life. Fuck those people in the past, okay? They're in the past for a reason. Of course, you know, you put a selfie on Facebook or Instagram and you get all these likes and all these people trying to talk to you, you know, that look what the selfie dragged in, like a couple exes just because they're thirsty and they're trying to see what you're doing. You got to remember, people really don't want you to be happy without them. Fucking bastards. But if it was such a good situation, then they wouldn't be in your past, you know? Okay. 
it's about what's home to you. You know, what do you consider to be your home? There is there someone in your life that feels like home to you? Or maybe you never felt like there was home. Like you really felt like you really belonged somewhere. I mean, because people, especially when you get in a relationship, people are going to come out of the woodwork. Like, oh, hey, girl. It's like, boy, bye. There's somebody that hurts you that's probably trying to, to come back and flirt with you. You are being assisted, okay? You have help from above. It's time to leave some shit in the past. And remember, there's more than one way to get to where you want to go. Um, maybe there's someone in your life that you're just like, I don't really know because of this and this and this. You know what I mean? But there are different, there's a million different ways to get to the, to the right place. There's more than one possibility for things. You have the world card. So I feel like you have so much more to explore, you know? Yes, people are going to flirt with you. Yes, people are going to be attracted to you. You're a fucking Gemini. Duh. But something is keeping you stuck. Like you're trying to figure something out. Maybe having to do with the heartbreak situation for some of you. But it's about what it is that you want to fight for. Because I feel like someone walked away. Maybe a Virgo. And you have a new offer maybe from a fire sign. Or just this urge of wanting to do something different. You know? But I think that you're worried about this betrayal again. Or maybe you're running away from whatever you have here like ha you're just in the middle you're like well i do have this but i kind of want this there's a lot of choices but you still want to to you know work with somebody or i think that there's a fire sign waiting for some of you they're hoping that they hear from you someone that got left out in the cold Wants a reunion. And they're coming back in and they're really passionate. Kind of a major change of direction, but I feel like this is something you already knew. Someone that you're in love with, perhaps. Someone that makes you really happy. Trust your intuition, or maybe they just really care a lot about you and want to move forward. Because they thought about it enough, or maybe you have thought about it enough. And you know that what you want now is an equal give and take with somebody. And a happy family, a sturdy ground to stand on. But yet you're still kind of being defensive. Pushing people out. You're not opening up. It's a new start here. But we are waiting. Mixed feelings. Separation. Big changes coming to a theater near you. Destiny's at play here. It's about trusting your intuition and making a decision. There's going to be some communication. There's going to be some shit you need to get over. Balance some shit out, maybe. Some of you are dealing with an earth sign that's trying to balance some shit out, but they're trying to come back in. Tower. Speaking your truth to your soulmate. I think that there's definitely some things that need to be said because there's definitely love here for a water from a water sign for some of you and there's this wanting to try something new or working on what you have kind of thing a lot of passion but things you need to move away from Gemini renew the right shit in your life okay there is a renewal here 
but there's a lot of fighting or other people involved. Because of something you saw on Facebook, maybe? Something you discovered, something you probably already knew, so you're disconnected or they are. Because there's some things you don't know. But there is a long-term investment here with victory. So get out of your head. Stop being stressed out. And move forward. Try something new. Maybe have patience. Make a decision. Because someone feels lost and grief and regret. Someone that wanted this happy family with you. Weigh things out. Make a decision. Put an end to some shit. You've got love, but you're sitting in a hanged man position. There's happiness. Figuring out for yourself what it is that you want. There might be some um, <laughs> possessiveness, perhaps, or a pretty fucking deep connection with the water sign for some of you. I think that um, some of you know what it is that you want. You know who makes you happy. You need to make a choice because whatever you want can be manifested. This person is really attracted to you. I think this is you're the one that they want and the one that they are going for. The cycle needs to end. Someone with money is here as well. Maybe an earth sign. Or maybe it's just about having that financial stability with someone. But there is um, someone who might be withdrawing. Things are going to be balanced. And I think there's a reunion or there's just this level of someone thinking a lot about you that you're kind of their support system you know this is about reminiscing about the good times and this emotionally balanced person that wants to come into your life or is already here that wants this new start with you with abundance and probably a marriage but here you are stuck in your head like you need to fight those feelings stop pulling back from people get out of your head gemini I think once we've been hurt and we're at this level of sadness, we could have fucking Prince Charming roll up in on his horse and we're still going to be like, I don't know, what, are, what shoes are you wearing? Like, I know you got bitches, you know, it's trust issues. There's still victory here, Gemini. Stop having these mixed feelings. You're being assisted for the record. Angels are on your side, this one. Some of you are selling out. Selling out means you're not being true to yourself. You're kind of one of those people that does what everyone else wants you to do because you want to make everyone happy. And that has a factor in your love life. are in a yin and yang cycle in your life or you could have someone who is your other half in your life you have a woman holding a coin so there could be um, someone who is either trying to assist you or this could be you making the right connections to make some money this month but I don't know. I feel like it's probably somebody in your life. What did I do with that card? Okay. And appreciation. It's about appreciating the things that we have in our life. Maybe the people who do come in on a fucking white horse. Gemini. There's a whole lot of passion here. Maybe even a little bit possessive over someone that we 
probably have really good sex with and I don't want to be like this on my channel, but I know how y'all are. Creepy ass, freaky ass people. There's abundance here, but you're pulling back. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Speak positivity into your loop. Get, okay, so y'all have these two people, right, as Gemini? Get rid of the bad one that keeps telling you shit in your ear and listen to the, the good one. Listen to the angel. Listen to the, the other shoulder. Don't listen to the bad shit because if you keep thinking the bad shit and that's what's gonna you're going to bring into your life, point blank. That's what will come. That's what you're going to attract into your life. But if you speak positive, very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Speak it into your life. Some of you are stuck in your head for nothing because you have someone who really cares about you, okay? And maybe you feel like there's some things that you don't know, so you're indecisive, which is what I'm talking about with that person in your head. You need to have trust, okay? This situation is calling for you to have faith and make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. I think you guys are scared. Because we can sit here all day and be like, I need a good man. <laughs> and then we'll get it. We're like, we run. Y'all are running, aren't you, Gemini? What are you so indecisive about when you have somebody, someone who's offering you a new start? Do you appreciate the stuff you have in your life? I don't think the people in your life feel appreciated. There needs to be a judgment call made. Things need to be spoken like make the call about what you want for your life because you can manifest whatever you want with the magician you have someone that really cares about you but you're indecisive because you feel like there's some shit they're hiding from you maybe there's not disconnected or maybe you're making this person in your life feel disconnected and feeling like you don't fucking love them. So there was a change in direction with how you thought about things, even though this reunion is still here and this happiness. Make up your mind. This person is your twin or your soulmate, Gemini. And you need to tell them that. It can be manifested. You got to make a decision. Get out. See the maze they're in? Y'all are in a maze, aren't you? You see that little bunny down there? The little funky ass bunny? He has the key and she's not even looking at him. She's like, oh, I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. But the key's right there. So what are you going to do? Besides have good, really good sex. It keeps showing me that. <clears throat> Anyways, I don't need to know your business. I don't need to know their business. Shit. Get out of these mixed feelings. Stop leaving people out in the cold. Because you guys both want this. This person is really, like, this person really only sees you. This person really only wants you. But you're not doing shit. Maybe you're... Maybe you need to trust your intuition, but the high priestess don't do shit. She observes accordingly and she trusts her intuition. But this is destiny for some of you. But guess where you are? Stressed out. Even though there's a new start being offered, you're walking away from someone who wants to marry you. Someone who can make you really happy because you feel like they're juggling people. Because you feel like there's shit you don't know and they're hiding stuff. But really, it's not even like that. This person wants to be supportive of you. This person is trying to be supportive of you. They want to move forward with you. But you guys need to get over some shit, okay? Trample the little doggy thing, a dragon. Get over it. Get over whatever you need to get over, okay? Stop holding back. 
Try something new. Don't be afraid of something new. How about that? Stressed out. Still a person wants to work with you. Communication. Balance. Thinking about it. This person really cares about you and they want this new start with you. Put an end to these fucking thoughts so you can have this new start. End the thoughts. End the fighting. End the pulling back. Because there is a, like good things here. Abundance. Y'all are stressing me out right now. <clears throat> That's all I have for you guys. Have a good day.